Now, as we mentioned earlier, we can also uh, automatically slew the or slave the uh, Schwal to one of our target points uh, that we stored in the PBI 800. Uh, to do so, I'll go ahead and, and put the PBI in uh, target point mode and then select the target point I want to uh, take a look at. In this case, I'll go with number one. Now, up on the Abris, I have a flashing blue uh, square with a one in the middle, indicating that I have a target point one loaded up. I can now hit the uncage button, and the shawl automatically slews to that point. Uh, in the same way, I go ahead and uh, select uh, target point two, hit on cage. Now I'm at the, the second point. I'll go ahead and go back, uh, set the PVI to waypoint mode again. Now the other mode we talked about uh, moving around the shawl is the helmet mounted display. I'll go ahead and activate it with the switch here. In doing so, I now have a, a monocle over my right eye with a reticle of concentric circles in the center. As long as I'm within 35 degrees off the nose, it's solid. But once I move outside 35 degrees, it starts to flash. Now, what we can do here is I can put my cursor um, over target area, hit the uncage button, and the shawl automatically goes to that location. Now we do it back the other way. It's got a striker here at 3.3 kilometers. Now, with that target uh, locked up, I can go ahead and initiate an automatic turn to that target to point my nose right at it. And we can do that with the button down here. So I'm going to press it, and now my aircraft is automatically turning to that target. Now, other functions down this panel. Uh, include the uh, ground moving target mode. So if this target target starts to move, uh, I'll have better accuracy uh, engaging that with uh, anti-tank missiles. I can also put in this mode to engage uh, better targets, air targets that are moving at me at high aspect. And this button here will allow me to better engage uh, air targets uh, regardless of the aspect. Another um, feature of the helmet mounted sight, it will give us an indication of when we have a valid uh, launch parameter. So in this case, I'll go ahead and um, select uh, anti-tank missile. And we now have a cursor here for the anti-tank missile, and we have the small cursor for the shawl. When I superimpose the two on top of each other, the, the HMS now turns to a standard uh, cross, which indicates a uh, valid launch parameter. Now I'll go ahead and turn the uh, HMS off. Now, in uh, rainy conditions, we also have a wiper for the shawl, and that can be activated. Uh, with the switch over here. Press that. And we see the uh, little windshield wiper going up and down. And coming back. So there's a little uh, overview of using the shawl and the helmet mount sight uh, tied to the, uh, the PVI. Uh, as I close this note up, I'll talk about a couple uh, little navigation features. Uh, the first is that in addition to the uh, automatic route mode that we talked about in the last uh, note, we also have the ability to do an automatic descent mode. 
by simply holding the uh, descent button down, we can descend the helicopter at a uh, safe rate that will also avoid uh, vortex ring. You can see an example of that now. And then the final thing we'll take a look at are what's called the uh, flight correctors. And we'll initiate that with the button here. And when we do that, we now have um, these uh, flight indicators uh, up on the HUD, uh, one here and one here. And these give us uh, elevation and bank angle directors to reach the next waypoint. Um, there's a horizontal component and a vertical component. When the vertical component is pointing up, it means you need to fly up. And when it's pointing down, you need to fly down, lose altitude. And depending on the um, bank angle, that indicates the bank angle you need to fly the aircraft at uh, to turn to the desired waypoint. So go ahead and select the uh, waypoint to fly to. We'll initiate route mode. And we'll get some speed on the helicopter. Okay, now it's telling us to bank to the right. And we're right at the altitude we need to. I'll go ahead and increase my altitude. And as you can see, now it's telling me to, uh, to fly down. And in this way, you can um, you navigate the uh, helicopter uh, using these automatic commands without uh, giving full control over to the autopilot to fly the aircraft. So, I hope you enjoyed this note, and I will talk to you next time.